Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today we have a quick tip to share with you on how you can use Photoshop to cut out images. So we're going to start off by cutting out this image of a dummy on a wooden stand. So we're going to start off by grabbing the selection tool and we're going to select quick selection and we're going to ensure that the plus is selected and we're just going to click in the middle of the dummy and we just want to fill out the edges of the dummy so it fills with the dotted lines on the outside and we're going to do the same for the wooden stand which it sits upon. I'm just going to drag down and ensure that it covers the edges of the wooden part of the stand. We're going to do the same for the base and then once you're happy with the selection we're going to head over to refine edge. We're going to change the view mode so it's on black so we can pick up any of the more rugged detail which may have been cut off an accident. And we're going to change the output selection to layer mask so when it's cut out it's cut out onto a layer mask so if we ever want to revert back to what the image looked like previously before it was cut out that option is always available to us. So we're going to select new layer with layer mask. So we're going to start off by smoothing out the edges, so we're going to bring this up ever so slightly to about 46 pixels, I think that will, that will look pretty good. And we're just going to shift the edges down so we're removing some of that white rugged edges which have been picked up and then we're going to increase the smoothness once again a little bit more. And then once you're happy, we're going to select the OK button. And it's then cut out the image for us. And then what we can even do from that point is we can drag it onto another photo, since it's been cut out of the background. So we can grab that layer and just drag it onto this, for instance. And then we can scale it down. and it appears of this as if it was never cut out and it's part of the background. All we did to make this effect look like it was cut out is we drawed a square around the whole of the photo and we chose a colour of a dark grey. Select the OK button and change the blend mode opacity to soft light so it looks like it's actually part of the picture and it wasn't cut out in Photoshop and it meant to belong there it was actually taken part of the camera shot I hope this is a useful tutorial which I'm sure you'll be able to incorporate into further design projects and it's definitely a handy quick tip worth knowing whether you're a designer or a photographer it's a useful one worth knowing and to use again in future design projects Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds.